So this is a demonstration of a long rope transfer. So with a long rope transfer, there could be any distance between the ropes, uh, so there is potential to take a large swing. Uh, I also need to make sure that I can get hold of the new set of ropes from this thing. So I've got all four ends, I'm going to tie them together using an overhand knot, and now we're going to head up. So there are a couple of reasons you might be doing this. You might be just trying to get from one set of ropes to the other, or you might be trying to cover the area in between. And depending on how far apart they are, you might have to do it in a few stages. So I'm going to demonstrate doing this in a couple of steps. So I'm going to climb up a short distance. And before I worry about anything else, I need to make sure that I've got into my descender on the ropes that I've just climbed up. So I'm going to load up my descender. Pull slack through, walk it off. Come up and out of the roll. And I'm just going to take that hand descender off. I'll tidy it away so it's a bit easier to see what's going on. So I'm now going to get hold of the new set of ropes. And if you're right handed, it's definitely worth leading with your right hand. I'll make sure they're not all twisted. And one of those ropes is going into my chest. So I'll pull through a little bit of rope on that, just to get a bit of tension. The hand sender is then going to go on the same rope. And this is where it's different from the short rope transfer. So on the short one, we had the option of taking this back up off. This time, that's definitely not going to work. Uh, if you take this one off and this rope is to fail, it's going to be a big out of control swing this time. So what we need to do instead, add another point on the other side, and I'm going to use my duck to do that. So I've now got four points of contact, and I'm going to have to leave all four of those on throughout the whole transfer. So I'll put the foot in my foot loop, and I've got the foot loop running on the inside of my knee, that's going to make life a bit easier to climb. And as I step down with my leg, I'm going to pull the rope through the crawl. And just like climbing up a rope normally, every time you make a move up, give the duck a slide up. Same again. Move the back up, up again. And then I'm going to turn my attention back to this side. So I can't take any backups off, but I'm just going to check that it's not locked. I'm then going to lower myself down a bit using the descender. And if I'm getting close to the ground, I'll then lock it off back to the climbing side. So as before, as you step down, pull the rope through the crawl. Keep moving the back up, up as you go. And I'm aiming to get just high enough that I can get across to the other side. So hopefully that should do. I'll just keep the back up nice and high. And this time, I should be able to lower all the way across. And once I get in the vertical across here, there's no more swing potential, so both connections on this side can come off. Back up as well. And that's you completed your long rope transfer.